Sad, sad day. Prayers and respect goes out to Shaq Barrett and his family. In case you hadn't heard the news, um, Tampa Bay Bucks linebacker Shaq Barrett, his family is devastated as this morning they found their two-year-old uh, daughter floating in the pool, in the family pool. And it's devastating. You know, and that that's just the ultimate horror. You know, uh, I just couldn't imagine the nightmare right now that they're living. That pain never goes away. And That's just a nightmare. You know, um, I've seen people who have lost children. And I've seen people who've lost children that are in their 20s. And they're just devastated. <sighs> Having two years, uh, you know, with a child. And, you know, you feel like you failed them probably as a parent or anything like I saw this descent happen with Sam Cook when I was doing my research on Sam Cook and to you know what happened with his death and all of the factors that happened people seem to forget while he was away his son drowned in the family pool which led to the the estrangement in the marriage between him and his wife. And he was never the same. Um, so Shaq Barrett's life has changed forever. His wife, his, his, you know, the rest of his children, I think he has three more children. You know, so... Uh, Everybody's life is going to change in the Barrett household. This will not get old. This is a, it's a very difficult situation. I'm pretty much one of the people who are just blown, blown away by this. Shaq Barrett and his family lives close to my family and, uh, out there near Tampa, Florida, in the suburb of Tampa. So I know that community, everybody's messed up. So yeah, I just wanted to say, say a prayer for them. Why other these other fools? This is why they make these rules and stuff on the internet for all these clowns that run around playing with children on the internet, you know, using them for their ploys and all that stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, well, that's what people want to do. They want to get older. They want to start a family, all this stuff. Yeah, that's what they wanted to do, so. Seeing Shaq Barrett as rookie year. Seeing Shaq Barrett as a rookie.
Absolutely. Very nice human being, man. So, yes, he's done things in the community. Uh, Jameis Winston used to do a lot of stuff in the community. He used to go in and read books to the children. They, they always had these community uh, events set up throughout the city. Um, and in Tampa, you know, nobody really bothered anyone. Everyone pretty much did their own thing. project or say what happened or why did this happen it shouldn't have happened that's not even it's not even my thought pattern my reality anything right now i'm just numb on all of it right now just numb so when you hear the news man you just you're you're, you're prayful like forgiven and just your mind is gone. You can't even get your thoughts together. You just pray for the families, you know? And for me, that's all I could do. I wish there was more I could do, but praying for the families is the best thing I could do for them. And, you know, you just be thankful for your family and your cousins and their lives your aunties, your uncles, that you still have these people around you in your life. You know, I got cousins that's not here anymore. You know, and their mothers are devastated, you know, and it's just the mothers raising their kids. So she's reminded of her daughter every day by looking at the kids. So she's so nervous about something happening to the kids and everything, you know, that she's trying to make sure she's healthy. Everything she's doing is for them. And it's just, it's a toll. It's a toll to take. Anything in life could be avoided if you if you know of the tragedy. You don't know what happened, so please don't speculate. Um, trying to find the blame. Everybody's probably blaming themselves a thousand times on them. But in hindsight, we have a very crowded place here if there was a such thing as, in hindsight, we shouldn't have went there that night. Or why did he get up to go outside? My friend lost his life when he was in the house for the night. Got up to go take his girlfriend's. Um, she wanted to go drop her keys off. She forgot to leave the keys for her grandmother. So he said, I will drive you. She was gonna drive her car to go do that and come back and spend the night with him. He said, I will drive you. Gets up, left all of his things there. His cell phone, his pager, all of his things that he normally would take with him, he left. Took his wallet, grabbed his wallet with his ID and everything so he could drive, grabbed the keys, got there, and drove her. And by happenstance, he just happened to drive next to, they just happened to be on that same street at that time. Some people who did not like him. And they shot in the car, taking his life. 
Now. He was 21 years of age. Just turned 21. He's been dead longer than he's been alive. But in hindsight, he should have just let her go. Right? If we're going to play that game. Matter of fact, the anniversary of his death just passed last week. Extremely sad. But now that girl was in the car with him. Everybody wanted to plush the blame. They wanted to blame her. They wanted to blame she was in the car and had to witness it. But they wanted to blame her. She had to go through therapy and everything. If people was hurt and didn't know what to do with their pain. So they wanted to take it out on her. Said she was working with them. She didn't even know them. And now her life is in, in shambles. But now today she's married. Got a beautiful family. Because she will always remember that night. I know, see, this is why I don't play with things like death. I don't play with people's families. I always stay very respectful. Because when you get to that level and start crossing lines, start showing other people, you don't even know who they are, but you're showing their children off and using them in a disparaging way and doing this like other creators that they have on YouTube who are supposed to be creators, but they have no content to create. So they just do garbage, make up lies. When they do stuff like that, they're damning themselves and they don't even know it. So you just stay back and let God do his work. You don't touch him. You don't do nothing. Just stand back. And God will take care of you. Because they soul is already lost. So for Shaq Barrett. This changes the game for him. Because he don't have a reason for any of this to go left. That's interesting. Extremely interesting. What's up there? Yeah, man. Shaq, Shaq Barrett is a wonderful human being, man. Like, everywhere, everywhere around the board, man. I remember when he came into the league, his rookie year. I just remember how excited he was. He was full of energy.
that's the thing I'm going to notice, so, you know, you know, his life is, you know, people are going to want to pick him up, and that's cool, and I hope they do, but I'm like, I was devastated to hear that, it just shocked me out of the blue, I took a nap, and I woke up to hear that, and I'm just thankful you know, for my family and thankful and blessed that I haven't gotten a call like that for any of my family members yet because I just couldn't imagine the pain and the hurt. You know, so whatever faith or religion you are, whatever God you believe, just say a prayer for Shaq Barrett and his family and pray and be thankful for your family. You know, and give them a call, you know, check on them, see how they doing, you know, just that's all. I'm out.